Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. It's your boy, Yah Osif, a.k.a. Riggle, B.K.A., better known as Bro Word. Please excuse the camera. I have a camera mount or phone mount, a new phone mount on the way, be it that Yah allows. Um... And uh, trying to get up out this parking lot. They make parking lots so frustrating out here in Kansas. You know, I might even start sharing some of my uh, my dash cam footage. <laughs> some of the crazy stuff I be seeing out here. Anyway, um, so this one is for the haters. I'm going to title this one, Dear Haters. My question is, whether you be man or woman, male or female, why would anyone, what good reason does anyone have to spend so much time focused on another person, especially in a negative manner? You know, thinking about somebody in a manner where you hope something bad happened to them or you don't like seeing them with things. Like, where they do that at? What what satisfaction comes from that? To just stew and fester in negative energy. Ugh, that is so unattractive. And the truth is, if you spend all that time thinking about somebody now if it's in a positive manner like somebody inspires you somebody uh has given you aspirations to do better in life you know um someone has motivated you you know when you see someone doing their thing it's it's motivational to you that's awesome that makes you want to do better. But when you look at somebody and say, Ugh, I don't like him, and I don't this and that, and then what, what that's doing? All you are is a fan. You're an inverted fan. That's it. That's what fans do. Oh, I love LeBron James. Oh, I hate LeBron James. Why you even spend that much time thinking about LeBron James? You're a fan. And you know what a fan is? Do you know what a fan is short for? You're a fanatic. You're fanatic about a person. Wow. You're fanatical <laughs> about someone. And then to be fanatical about someone in a negative manner. Wow. You shouldn't be a fan of any man. You should not be fanatical of anyone. A wife could be a fan of her husband. A child could be a fan of their father and their mother. A man should only be fanatical about Yah. Now, if, you know, somebody has done something to you, you either have to learn to forgive that person and move on. Don't spend a bunch of time and, and energy thinking about somebody who did something to you. And I, I, I know there's, there's some terrible things that go on on the face of this earth. You know? And some of that stuff can get hard. It can be very difficult to get past. But what you have to do is you have to forgive that person, forgive yourself, and do your best to move on. Because to sit there and hate on someone, that's like sipping poison, expecting your enemy to die. Your enemy is not going to die because you sip poison. It's not going to happen. If, if you want to get some type of retribution, then succeed in life. Get past that and succeed in life. That's the best retribution. Now, me personally, I don't believe I've done anything to anybody that I haven't tried to come to. And, you know, if something, if I did something wrong, I'm quick 
to try to apologize because I don't like doing people wrong because I don't like being done wrong and what you sow you shall also reap but if I've ever done something to you please comment and in doing that you know if I haven't done nothing to you consider liking this video subscribing to this channel and sharing the video um, but yeah you you shouldn't be fanatical or a fan of anyone you can admire people you can follow people oh you're a fan of the, of the Chicago Bears nah I follow the team yes you know oh you're a fan of this certain team no 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 you're a fan of this certain uh, is it no I follow them I, I you know I, I you know I pay attention to what they do you know if they drop something new I might check it out but as far as being a fan no the only thing and I'm gonna jump up and down whoop and holler and scream to the top of my lungs for is yeah Shalom.